Following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here where the volume is given by is given by um, by base times the vertical height. So base, which is the area of the parallelogram, and multiplying with the vertical height. The vertical height is the same as over here. So uh, so the idea here is um, if you compute this, this thing here would then give us the area of the parallelogram. And then if you want to know the the uh, the height, the vertical height, you would get the vector a. And then dotting it with the unit vector that is perpendicular to to this plane here. So hang on. So this n hat here is really a uh, a unit vector of length one um, that is perpendicular to uh, to the plane. So so if, if you want to know the vertical height, if you want to know the vertical height, then get the um, get the vector a and then dot it with with this unit vector. Re re remember. Um, so 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 it's like it's like this. Suppose you have this um, this vector here um, that is three across and then two up, three across, two up. If you dot it, with, if you want to know the vertical height, you would dot it with a unit vector that is um, that is in the vertical vertical direction. So so zero across, one up. So this is your unit vector. Now if you dot it, it would be this times this, uh, and then this uh, times this. So so that would then give you the vertical. Um, the vertical component. So, so looking at this, you, you've got you've got a vector a here. You've got a vector a here. If you dot it with the with a unit vector that is perpendicular to 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 the plane here. So, so what, what you're doing here is you're you're just extracting the uh, the vertical the vertical component of a. You, you you don't really care about the horizontal. You're 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 extracting the vertical component of a. So, uh, so by you by you. Um, Doing by you getting vector a, dotting it with a unit vector. So this is like your unit vector, and you're you're extracting the the vertical component. So you're doing the same thing here. You've got a vector a here, and then you've got a unit vector n. By you doing this this process here, you're you're just extracting the vertical. You're just extracting the vertical component of the vector a. You're just you're just extracting this vertical component. Okay. So, but but at the moment we don't really know. What the, we don't know this um, this vertical component, so we need to go to uh, to compute this. So this is where the cross product comes in. So at the moment we we want we want this unit vector that's perpendicular to uh, to the plane here to B and C. Um, uh, to 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 extract this, we would compute the cross product. So remember the cross product. If you get B cross C, if you get B cross C, that will then give you this. This vector here, but then if you want the unit, so so remember b cross c would then give us would then give us this vector that that is perpendicular to b and c. And remember, we don't know why it works. I'm just asking you to accept that it works. So um, so b cross c would then give us this vector. But then if, if we want the unit vector that's perpendicular, and let me start again. Sorry, b cross c. B cross C would then give us a, a vector that is perpendicular to to the plane. But then, if you want the unit vector, if you want this this unit vector of length one, then uh, then you would you would you would get B cross C, and then and then work and then uh, and then divided by the magnitude divided by divided by the magnitude. So that would be this B cross C. And then divide it by. So if if you want the unit, um, if you want the unit vector that's perpendicular, you would do this. B, you would do uh, B cross C. That would then give us this vector, and then divide it by the magnitude of this vector. So let's start again. So if if you want this unit vector, you would get B cross C. That would then give us. So so B cross C would then give us this this vector here. So hang on. So B cross C would then give us that vector, but then because we want a unit vector, we would divide it by the magnitude of, of the two, the magnitude of the two. So that that would then give us that would then give us this, and then and then this, hang on, and then and then these two would cancel out, um, giving you this. So this would then uh, would then give us um, would, would then give us a, a, a new method of working out the volume. Um, I will explain why this will cancel down with this in the next video. Okay?